hi welcome back to my channel refining amy this is week 19. please stay tuned for my new stats and to hear a little bit about my week hi i'm amy i'm 45 years old and on march 19 2019 i had surgery in vegas dr tom umbach was my surgeon i went through his practice which is called blossom bariatrics and it's a wonderful facility. If you want some information, please feel free to contact me. Today is July 30th, and this is my, my week 19 update. Today I weighed in at 206.1. And um, that is a loss this week of 2.6 pounds. Since surgery, um, weight of 266.4, I have lost 60.3 pounds. And since my beginning weight of 292.3, um, I have lost 86.2 pounds. So I'm excited about the time, the, the amount of weight I've lost. Um, I can't complain about it. Um, you know, the week prior, it was 1.2, something like that. The week before that, 1.2, 0.5, 3.1, 3.3, 1 1.9. You know, so it's kind of, I'm still on a downward trend. I'm happy about that. So we'll just see what happens from here. Okay, so for July, I wanted to lose... 15 pounds, it didn't happen. I lost a little over 11. Um, I didn't get all my journaling done. I didn't get all my exercise in. <laughs> um, goals are just those, you know, you try to sit out and do things that are purposeful, but I did not figure in what it would be like taking three accelerated courses in July. So, um, my main goal is, is I want to be in Wonderland before I start back to work, which is, I think, totally doable. I still have, you know, time. Okay, so I am still having to remind myself to drink water, but, um, not so much when I'm outside working. Um, I do pretty good with that, just staying hydrated that way. I think kind of the New Mexico heat kind of <laughs> makes you have to do it. So, um, I don't really have a problem with that. I just keep getting down off the ladder and having, um, I fill up my, my, um, little thermos thing and I just, it's like holds 32 ounces and, um, I just keep sipping on it. It's more than sips, but whatever. Um. I'll tell you, I do okay with that. I think, um, well, let me get to why I'm doing it. You know, I told you about the perla that was built. Well, we are staining it and sealing it, and it's rough cut wood. I don't know if you know anything about it, but literally, I am channeling my inner Bob Ross because I have to do what's called kind of like stippling, which is that tapping motion when you're painting. Well, normally it's for aesthetics. This is to actually get into the wood grain because it's rough. So it almost looks like it's like hairy bark, <laughs> hairy timber. And so, and there's definitely, it's not been, you know, sanded. It's not sanded wood. So it's not a quick paint job by any means. And, you know, it's very hot out there. But I am staying hydrated and I'm good with that. Um... That's why I have this red nose and cheeks and like the tips of my ears because I get up on the ladder and I'm up there and I normally wear a hat even when I go to the pool and even when I go down the slide, I'm wearing a hat because it helps, it just helps like my eyes don't get as crazy, you know, um, it just, the sunlight just like, ugh, so bright. Um, but I normally am wearing a ball cap. And I didn't want to do this because I am a very sloppy paint painter. I have a couple of pictures. Like, look at this. Yeah. That's not even the worst of it. Like, <laughs> there, there's times when it's, like, everywhere. I think I got it all off. This one. Squ 
school's driving me crazy. Um, like I said, I wasn't really counting on it being this intense, even though they are accelerated classes. We've just had some crazy things go on this week. Um, our fridge decided to go out and with it, the ice maker dumped a whole bunch of water and we don't know how long this problem had been going on, but there was some definite water damage done to our wood laminate floors. I know, bad idea to put wood laminate floors in a kitchen, but whatever, that's what they did. So we had to pull up the flooring. We found old linoleum underneath it that had not been pulled up. Water had even got underneath that. We had to take it all out. Um, it had been there for at least 15 years or more. And it meant that the it didn't all come up. Some of it stayed down on the ground and we had to chisel it off. Yeah. Lots of work. Lots of work. Um, my arms are already sore. They were already sore. My back was hurting because of the motion. You know, the muscles are just like, holy cow. But um, you know what? I'm able to do it. Before I would have been like, okay, I'll keep going. Okay, you know, but I'm able to do it. I go up and down a ladder. I'm good, you know. Um, the heat does take it out of you and you do have to stop. So today what we did was we went, um, we worked until noon and then we broke away and went swimming. I had class this evening, had a pre presentation that I gave. Rock that. Yes, I did. Anyways, um, long story short, we're getting new floor and a new fridge. We weren't planning on doing either. Hmm. Yay. But, you know, the joys of being a homeowner. Yeah. Okay. So... I will tell you that something I found out, I struggle getting in my water and my food if I sleep in. I just can't do it. I don't sleep in much anyways, but when I do, it like throws off the whole schedule. Just can't do it. So, anyways, that's what happened. Um, poop scoop time. Getting behind on my water for the last week and the week before has definitely um, made it more difficult and I am working on it, but it's not a hundred percent, but I will tell you that um, I didn't go for like a while. Um, it was like four days and finally I went and oh my God. <sighs> okay. It was like the plug came out and then, oh, I unleashed the Kraken. And it was so bad. Like, I pooped once and then pooped again and then came back later and pooped some more. And I don't know if you can have two pounds worth of shit in you at a time, but that's what it felt like afterwards. I felt light. So, anyways, it was like, I don't know. It, I felt like I was, it was like filler up for the toilet time. I'm not even joking. It was crazy. Um, so <sighs> I did poop though. Finally, that was on Sunday when we went to buy a new floor. <laughs> it's just been a week. I'm telling you guys, it's been a week. So. There you have it. Lost 2.6 pounds this week. Down to 206.1. And I'll let you guys know what's coming in the future. Hopefully Wonderland is around the corner. I just like I feel like I'm getting closer and closer. And don't mind my nails. They are a hot mess because I should go get them redone. But guess what? Mama's not paying that money with all these construction projects going on because I ain't gonna ruin a brand new manicure. Just saying. All right. So that's it for this week. I'll talk to you guys real soon. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful um evening 
whenever I get this finally out. But I'll talk to you later. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.